So let me show you how to work with uh, AI generated synchronization scenarios. So uh, let's create a new data source here and choose Google contacts. But instead of using this one, which is you know normally a preferred version, in this part of the video, I will show you how to work with the generated scenario. Because for some tools, we don't have uh, manually created templates because the AI generated scenarios are you know sufficient to give you enough logic. So let's go next. And uh, now you have to assess the AI and select which endpoint, which data source you wanna use. So we'll be watching for contacts, not the contact groups here. And so it will be sinking into this space and everything else will be automatically preset and click continue. So now the scenario is being created at the background. Uh, and the next thing you need to do is you need to create your connection. So you could either click add to create new connection or utilize one that is already uh, there if you've uh, already created the connection earlier. Again, this limit, it's, uh, it's a limit how much or how many contacts are processed by one scenario run. So I'll just do 20. So it will mean 20 contacts every 15 minutes once this scenario is on. I'll choose uh, that I will start from you know, all the contacts that are inside my database and click OK. So now uh, you should click right click on this module and run this module only. What will happen is it will get first data payload, first set of data, because we can then use this in this another module for uh, more context when mapping the data. So I'll open this one. So click on this one. It will load the fields that are prepared in BooSpace modules. And uh, now you can uh, start working on mapping. So I will just try to uh, choose for the name. Let's see. Let's go for name. So surname and first name. So you click here on the first name and you try to search for the name here. So give a name, contact surname. So it will be a family name here. And uh, let's also map the email. So you can use the search here, email and uh, step by step so you want this value right so just click on the value here and this is this is where you see the context from the first payload you can proceed on mapping you can also use the a mapping features to try to help you out and once you have all your fields mapped you can click on ok now we can save the scenario and the last step that we need to do is we need to again choose where to start because we've already processed that you know, first data payload. So we just wanna again, sync all of the contacts. This way, we will now be able to sync the scenario and, and run it so that all the data are loaded from the Google Contacts account and the data are synced inside BooSpace. So we will close this, continue, and uh, we will end this tour, the new Synchronization scenario will be here and the data will be uh, slowly popping up in your space. So uh, when I refresh, just give it a second and your data will arrive. And here we are. So this way how you can work with AI generated scenarios. You need to do the mapping, but other than that, everything is ready for you.